Good afternoon and welcome to the first Generation Zero stream. I don't know how if any of you have uh, played it before or not but this is going to be a completely new run through. Um, I've switched off all my DLCs so this is if you like a vanilla uh, run through. I hope you like it. So new world, new characters, new game. Let's go. Ooh, military, rebel, rebel. Turn on the uh, difficulty to gorilla, and as it says here, for a more challenging experience. Uh, the two other levels, adventure, which is focused on the story rather than combat. Skirmish, which is a balance. Um, I'm gonna go with Gorilla. That can be changed at any point, so uh, you're not locking yourself in whatever you choose. Right. place is not safe. Maybe uh, near, you can find some help in the nearby house. Right. So my health is and the stamina are shown in the bottom uh, left. My health is uh, set at 50. There's nothing on the boat. Including a first aid kit. Right, so first aid kit. I, to uh, get up inventory, I'm going to use it to initially. So that's on my way. Is there anything else in here? No, there isn't. So we'll go a bit further up. Yet of it. Anything in here? Some textiles and adrenaline shot. Take all of those. Anything else? Anything else? Hearing stuff in the background. Very quiet. That's interesting. 
What the heck is that? Take the torch. All right, listen to the answer phone. Farmer och farfar, vad är det som händer? Jag är livrädd, jag vet inte vad jag ska göra. Jag är i kyrkan. Det är jag igen. Jag vet ju redan att ni inte är hemma. Jag tänkte det nu, Therese. Men i alla fall, om ni hör det här, eller om polisen hör, snälla. Hjälp mig, jag är i Boholmens kyrka. First aid kit that might help getting us up to a hundred percent. And I deliberately say hundred percent. Oh, we have a dead person. All right, let's get hold of that pistol. Four rounds of ammo. That's more first aid kits, that's useful. No people alive that we can see. Baseball bat. Just picking up all the stuff at the moment that we can pick up, that is. So there's something on the table that the body had me distracted. So we'll have a quick look at the collectible. One of two collectibles. P brings up the, all the menus, but it goes back to the whatever the menu you had beforehand, but we had the inventory up. So P E uh, in collectibles are in the logs. So safe houses, Yetovic. If there's any Swedes around that can pronounce it better than I can, please let me know. Uh, and there is telling us uh, some some codes there that we might see actually that's the reference that they've just put on there for us right so there's we've collected the weapon we've got one of two collectibles let's just try and get some sanity to what we've picked up so I'm going to put the weapon in slot one. Uh, clear slot. Sign to slot one. Gonna put a melee weapon in slot three. First aid kit sign to slot five this is just my preference you can uh, assign them how you want um, I'm going to put the flare in slot six and I'm actually going to put that in slot seven uh, four rounds of ammunition firework and it's equipped it for us so as you can see there is a HUD that is useful and so we 
this a map. So have we no we haven't done the bathroom. So what is this? It's a mangle, whatever it is. Looks as though the policeman has been shot multiple times. There's nothing else in here. Looks like Grandma and Grandad, at least according to the answer phone message, we're attempting to pack by the looks of it. Here is the other collectible. Another policeman. Read the police note. Missing teenagers. Therese, uh, uh, aged 18, Murray, uh, Granberg, Daniel Garfour, uh, and Unknown friends, last known, Ibelholm, uh, grandparents, Rolf and Zeda, address Yetovic, maybe at the Nutsen's home, Yetovic, uh, very landing. Okay, so that's why the police came here. There's the message that we heard. We can play the audio again. <laughs> that we picked up. So readiness alarm, air raid alarm, important public announcement, danger over. Okay. So search the police car for ammo. That's what our mission is apparently. So we're going to search the police for ammo um, here. Eight more rounds. Okay, so we'll take all of that. I'm not turning the torch off because I don't want to be shining lights outside. Locate and destroy an enemy. Well, there's a target floating around over there. As you can see, they are dangerous. So it's a robot of some sort. It looks like a a dog. Anything moves. This is really good. clothing. The clothing in game is purely cosmetic. The clothing, well actually that's not true. There are some bonuses you can and you can modify clothing to make it more bulletproof or blast proof or fireproof or whatever. Um, 
so it's not purely cosmetic but mostly cosmetic right okay so let's actually sort out search some of these places First aid kits, always useful first aid kits, certainly at the early part of the game. Right. If you go into the game with an easier level, the machines are easier to kill. They also don't do as much damage and uh, they don't aren't as good at hearing you or seeing you. Um, as, so, you, you, yeah. So they pick you up at the longest range on the hardest setting. Do the most damage and take the hard uh, the, the most to kill. So, in some senses. This isn't how you'd set, start going as a beginner uh, at the difficulty level, but I don't think you did need to tell you that. Anything in here? Nope, nothing in here today. However... I actually happen to know that there is loot on the roof of this one, but you can't actually see it. So the trick, if you can manage it, is to try and jump onto the fence, onto the canopy, and pick up the other kit and there is another pistol there that's a 9mm pistol as opposed to the uh, um, uh, the 32 cal pistol that I'm currently holding does a little more damage but not a lot so we still don't have a primary weapon we've been given we've now picked up some firearms so as you can see there does little damage the, this is the 9mm um, they have renamed anything that has potentially got a trade name uh, and even stuff that hasn't got trade names they've renamed in game this is a version of the Glock um, and uh, the Mola PP is actually um, uh, the Walter PPK uh, that's, um, in the game this is a 32, uh, 32 cal and this is a 9mm so it is a tiny bit more damage with this standard of weapon right rate of fire is higher with the um, actually there's no difference in rate of fire handling is easier on the Walter or the Mola in the game we also have a lot more ammo at the moment with the uh, Moller, about 17 rounds completely as opposed to 198. But 